Welcome to the Sunday Shave. Now you may notice the intro to this was very different this week and I've had orders from the management, Mrs H, no close-ups of the flowers this week. And you may look over there and think, well, why is that then? She wasn't happy with them. For some reason, I think they're lovely, but uh, orders are obeyed. No close-up. But you will see a photo at the end of the video when I put the end screens up. So, um, anyway, there they are. Nice bit of colour. <laughs> Perfectionist, you see. She is. Right, thank you. For, how are you doing? I hope you're in good health, good everything, good spirits. I hope the week's been good for you. And I hope you're having or had some fantastic shaves. Let's level you out slightly. There we go. How's that? Right, a very relaxing... We've been using, um, or I've been using, some lovely soaps lately and uh, been spoilt. So I'm going back to my roots, to the basics. Um, and funny enough, someone did ask again in the comments, long time since we've seen you use the humour. So here it is, a very, very inexpensive and made of very inexpensive aluminum, aluminium, sort of uh, alloy. Um, the only problem with this razor, it works perfectly but it starts to look quite bad. Um, coloration, but that's because it's a very cheap, inexpensive alloy. But it does the job. Very, um, quite a severe overhang on this razor. Um, quite aggressive. It's a three-piece non-adjustable, but it's quite an aggressive razor, this. I mean, you can see me through the gap of the... <laughs> and inside, I'm using a... Um, it's a Persona hospital blade, a med prep blade. It's been used once. So that's what we're doing. The soap is one of my favourite soaps, the palm olive. Smell that, go on. Oh, I love this soap. And I'm going to lather off the face, you know, rub the soap on the face. The brush is going to be some Olgate 30, which you can see has been soaking in hot tap water. And I'm just going to wet my face and wet the soap. Yeah, so I hope you're having some good shaves. I like these sort of... Um, non, you know, inexpen inexpensive shaves, with, especially with things that are classics, which, well, the reason they're classics is because they work. Uh, you know, this camera's not behaving today. Well, the camera's behaving, it's the tripod, I think. Well, it's, it's not, let's be honest, it's me and the set, whoever set it up is rubbish. But anyway, hope you can see. Right, off we go. So the face is wet. I have come out the shower about 10 minutes ago. Dip this in the water and then the whiskers there will start and then once this gets dry it's a nice way of um, creating a you watch the lather this creates absolutely as they say in South Wales phenomenal <laughs> Phenomenal. That's a funny word, isn't it? Phenomenal. I wonder how, you know, someone somewhere sat down and thought, phenomenal. Yes, we'll use that and it'll mean this. There we go, that's plenty. And as I say, the whiskers act like a scraper and take the soap off. Right, that's enough. Oh, smell that beautiful soap. And I always find that better when you haven't used them for a while. If you use something every day or whatever, or regular, you get slightly used to the scent, don't you? But when you haven't used them for a while, it's um, more of a treat. So that's wet, so it's one, two, two flicks, and that'll do. 
this will drip, most likely. Mm. Holy smoke, look at that. And the brush is warm from being in the hot water. So how's the weekend going, ladies and gentlemen? I hope, uh, hope it's normal, it's doing very well. Now, using the humour, you need a good bit of protection because it is, as I said, a very inexpensive razor, but a very effective razor when it comes to aggression. And, uh, but we're going to be using the light touch, so that won't be too much of a issue, hopefully. There we go, look at that. Didn't take long, did it? Okay. Rinse the hands. Rinse the razor. And here we go. First pass. You listen to the audio feedback of this. Very lightly. Superb. Yes, yeah, you can feel the blade on this. Um, it makes a good razor for someone who is travelling a lot. You wouldn't mind if you lost this, really. Um, someone who may want to try more aggressive razor than they've got so you're not spending a lot of money in case you don't like it um, but all round you know it doesn't look nice maybe but it does the job it's inexpensive it does the job I've had this for years that's why it's coloured God, I've missed this soap. I've missed it. The scent is... In case nobody's ever tried it, it's a, a very clean, fresh, soapy scent. And you can get it in the um, shaving cream format. There's one or two have menthol in it, some of the shaving creams. It's got palm extract. Uh, lovely soap. And as you can see, that's done a pretty good job on the first pass. We've had um, quite pleasant weather, a few showers here and there, but really good um, for growing. I've had the first um, of my tomatoes, if you follow me on my other channel, I'm just going to dip this under the tap. The uh, first tomatoes, about four were ready the other day. And, um, oh no, we need much more than that. Four were ready the other day. And uh, the taste, oh, beautiful. <laughs> mm. And I went on a, a walk on Friday around a reservoir, uh, a dam, and I made sandwiches, or butties as we say, um, ham with uh, one of the homegrown tomatoes sliced and some cucumber I pickled in malt vinegar, the brown vinegar. Oh, and, you know, when you're outside walking or doing, it always tastes, you know, ten times better. And I've really enjoyed them. So, uh, 
That was nice. Right. Flick that. Mm. And what you find, well what I find is with this face lathering, depends on the brush and what type of brush you use, but usually it can house enough soap from the face to last the three passes but as you've seen then it didn't so just application back to the soap very inexpensive soap so it doesn't matter but beautiful scent I love this scent and it's sentimental scent you know because my father grandfather used it so it was a scent that sort of wafted around in the bathroom as a, as a child, so it's it's nice. Right, we're on to pass number two. Okay, pass number two, which is across the growth, and here we go. This is where you've got to be careful of that overhang. Is you clip your nose. The second pass onwards, very good slickness on this. And of course, if you've watched me for a few years now, you will have seen me use this many times. Um, Beautiful, just quiet, simple, inexpensive razor and soap that works. Very light touch as you can hopefully see. Very, very light. Good slickness. Very happy, thank you. Adam and the ants. <laughs> right, on to pass number three. Okay, pass number three. Soap under the tap. Not going to put much on. There should be enough in the brush now. Keep the soap wet once it dries. This is the important area. For me, there we go, that's enough, more than enough really. Rinse your hands. And then the third pass and then I can just dip under the tap. I can tell you about Sunday dinner. Sunday dinner, what are we having? Well, that's something different today, something really people have a Christmas with. It was uh, on offer in the supermarket and I thought, oh, I've had that for a long, long time. Uh, roast turkey today. It's not a whole turkey, it's just uh, the thigh joint and um, with the skin on, so I'll put butter on that and get that crisp and things. Roast turkey with... Uh, Royal Jersey new potatoes boiled, um, carrots, and marrow fat peas. And what else? And I apologise. Was it Brian? I think I didn't say lashings of gravy. And this week there will be lashings and lashings of gravy. So there we are. I said it twice. Um, 
and what else is there? Oh, that's it, yeah. Uh, and I'm using cider this week. It's going to, I'm, I'm enjoying the fruit cider, the dark fruit it's called. It seems like the supermarkets are doing their own brand. Um, Sainsbury's do a nice one, dark fruits, Tesco. But I'm using this week Strongbow dark fruits. And um, we'll see. It should be nice. I'm enjoying them. So they will be the aperitif as I cook and enjoy my meal. So this is against the growth. Very lightly. Hopefully you can tell. Because you can hear that blade. And the blade, may I say, is performing outstandingly. Hmm? Outst <laughs> outstandingly. Second use. Listen to that. Oh, the scent of this. I love it. Yeah, it takes me back. <laughs> Um, someone asked me about, um, well it's a while ago actually, in a message I had saying about some new razors and they thought I'd be one of the first to use new razors and stuff like that. Well, not really. Um, it's nice, but some of them are very expensive. And, um, you know, you just can't do that sort of thing. But I enjoy shaving. Um, yeah, new soaps, new razors, brushes. I love it. But I also love the inexpen... 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 <laughs> inexpen... I have another side here. Inexpensive razors if they work which this one does and it does the job okay it doesn't look you know it's not a designer name and but that doesn't bother me as in clothing I haven't got to wear you know I'm gonna have a name brand and oh look at me you know, all this sort of <laughs> it's nice that decent stuff but uh I don't sort of dwell on it, if you know what I mean. I just enjoy shaving whatever I use, whether it's a 500 pound razor or a 50 pence razor. Not that this is 50 pence, but not far off. Um, if it does the job, that's it, nothing wrong with it. Look at that. Right, now I've said that. What's the next one? Pickups. Thank you very much. As you're going to see, there's enough. Yeah, I've just dipped the brush under the tap for the pickups. Not a lot in there. But that'll do me. That'll do me. Love this. Oh, don't go on about the scent. They know you like it. Okay, sorry. That bleeping, if you have heard it, is the dishwasher has finished its uh, cycle. I don't mean it's been out on a bike.
Oh, just a touch here. Good slickness for me on there. Right, I'll just rinse off, that's lovely, really enjoyed that. Really enjoyed that. Oh. They look lovely then. You're too fussy, Mrs. H. But I understand. I know what you mean. Oh, beautiful. And I couldn't even name any. <laughs> I'm not going to even try. No. No way. Right then. Oh, look. Oh, we've done it there again. Lemon. Thayer's lemon, which is, let me use this for a while. Might be a bit of feedback on this. We'll see. Nothing there. This should be on the neck. That's strange. Nothing. Oh yeah, just starting then. <laughs> oh, smell that. Come on. What are you having for your dinner? Ah. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> right, this one. Duru, can't see it, can you? Limon, 80 degrees. I called it 80%, but it's 80 degrees. Or, um, it's the same. Oh, it's the same as that one in the posh bottle, in the Evin. So they must. This company and Evan and that must use the same supplier or whatever the supplier makes it for all of them. Um, and one thing I like about it, it's got a nice dispenser, not an open top, so you're not going to overdo it. Oh, hey, do you want to sniff it? Come on, <laughs> hey, thank you. Bit of feedback, then, too. Bit of feedback. Oh no, come on, put your hands out, come on. Ready? Right, try that. Come on. <laughs> Imagine it. People thinking, be locking me up. He was. He's lost. I lost it years ago, mate. That's beautiful. Oh, that is nice. Beautiful. Duru. Duru. Beautiful. Moisture back. Nivea Originals. Post shave balm. Don't need a lot. Oh, that's a nice combi. Mm. Nice combination. Lemony sort of Nivea scent. Oh, that's nice. Lemon aftershave balm. Mm -hmm. I'd be very proud that to make that scent. Oh, that's beautiful. That's nice. <laughs> right. So let's have a quick recap and I'll keep you no longer. I know you've got more important things to do. So, the razor of choice this weekend is the Yuma. Uh, very inexpensive, short handle, hollow handle, very light, head heavy, um, three piece, non adjustable, uh, but it does colorate or darken. Um, the older it gets, the more it gets used. But, as I say, don't judge the looks, don't judge a book by its cover, it does a good job. It's a, quite an aggressive razor as you may be able to tell with the gap there but if you use light touch it won't harm you it's a good one um, it, it is short as I say short handle 
but uh, that's what we've used the Yuma and I've used a med prep blade persona which has been used once and did a superb job all this is me overdoing look at this look me going over and over and over to we've used the classic in the shaving world the palm olive shave stick many of us will know from generations of our families using this will know the scent and how good it is and the reason it's still here today I think highly of that um, what do we use? Oh, the Samogate 30, mustn't forget, the ball brush, Samogate 30, a lovely brush, more like a badger, uh, Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel, love that, love that stuff, and this stuff is adorable, Duro, um, Limon, Cologne, 80 degrees, you can see that there, it's a, uh, yeah, lovely stuff, and to put the protection is the Nivea Originals. And uh, I'm a happy chappy. Sunday dinner. It's shaving, cider, and Sunday dinner. We can't get no better than that. That's a good Sunday. And relax, obviously. So I hope you have some great shaves as well. I hope the weekend's going fantastic for you. And um, more importantly, I hope you keep in good health. Keep happy and... Um, have a great start to next week and thanks again for all your support and I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. Take care.